Isn't this the most beautiful? It says as is. That's too bad. Oh, he's so cute. That's adorable, Seth. Very nice. It's April 12th, and we're here in Higston, Wisconsin, to an antique mall. A couple other antique shops in the area, too, so this is a fun one. A lot of floors, a lot of levels, so it used to be an old schoolhouse. The wind's blowing me over here. Well, we'll go and see what they got. Here's a view from up on the stage, being a schoolhouse. I guess they have a stage area. Very cool. It's really fun up here. Lots of mid-century stuff up here usually. Oh, we have a Halloween blow mold too. Look at the size of this cheese tray. Crackers for crackers around the edge, I assume. Cool. These are wonderful. Aren't they neat? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love that. For just one, and they have two of them. But they are facing the same way, so it would be neat if they had been facing two different ways. Oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? I think that one might go to the ceiling. Nice wooden section down here. I didn't see a price on it, but really nice. Lucite orange globes. Neat little wall pocket. Nice. Really small. Pretty tidy. Wow, you should see this clock. It says... I don't know. I don't know what that word is either, um, but what would you call this, Norm? A clock. Yeah, but <laughs> the anchor is, that's, that's, um, nautical, isn't it's it? Nautical. Yeah, right. Wow. It's got an anchor and chain, it's got, uh, humidity and oh. temperature and... Yeah, that's really cool. It's nice. Oh, that's what it, he, the word was on the tag. It's the maker of it, arabesque. I, I assume that's how you pronounce it. Okay. USA made, I would think. No, made in Germany. Oh, wow, arabesque. Yeah, they were very uh, mid-century too. Oh, that's a fun coffee pot by Corning. Huh, cool. Kind of an olive. And this is really neat too, silver tone. I spent so many hours cleaning radios, you wouldn't believe it. From my brother's collection. That's very neat. Here's a GE Telecron. This is really a cool Art Deco design, isn't it? Isn't that nice? That's a big, big desk clock. Very pretty. Here's a cute little Easter toy. West Germany. Really? Wow. I think that's what that says. A noisemaker. Really cute. Pretty tiny. Oh, look at that big Tonka. Indian Winnebago for $100, I think, yeah, <laughs> they're so cool, <laughs> quite big though, they take up a lot of space, yeah, these are getting expensive too, I've spent about $5 on them, I think I have three of them now, I just love them, this is probably not a bad price, really nice condition, 
I had a couple of different ones years ago. Kind of got away from the tin things. I am looking for a colander. But that's pretty fancy, isn't it? I'm competing with this uh, radio host. Look at all these roosters. This is pretty in blue. Lots and lots of roosters. Oh, look at this John Deere pig. Oh, isn't that cute? This is nice for five bucks. That's nice. I don't tend to buy too many little, um, what do you call them, accessory pieces. Pretty clock. This is a fun donkey planter collection. All different sizes. Cute little figurine. Up here, this one's really funny. Very colorful. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, quite a variety. Well, I don't know what this bear is selling here. I don't get what this is. Fossil. What? Fossils. That's a brand of watches. Really? Uh, that says... Fossil. I can't read. It's my glasses. No, I don't, I don't think that's the fossil. Denature times. Denature arrival times. Departure times. I'm amazed at how they can make these tin toys uh, do the actions that they do. Peggy was talking about the sign here. Let's see what it has to say. Fossil departure times and fossil arrival times. It was so tiny, you can't read it with your glasses very easily. I finally figured it out when I could read arrival times because I didn't know what fossil was all about. It's a railroad, vintage railroad uh, bear. And he's got a little chart telling everybody the arrival and departure times. It's very cute. Made in Japan, so it is vintage. Yeah. And they're, was, uh... they're even asking $35 for it on the internet. Somebody that Wow, well, that's has pretty one. good. Yeah, so you got a good deal. Yeah, very good deal. These are adorable. $9.95 each. Little tiny planters. They're really small. Norm's playing with a toy again. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, those are adorable. This area is always very fun to look at. Such beautiful pieces here. Look at this gorgeous horse. Wow. I thought that was kind of nice. Oh, he's beautiful, yeah. And the Sambarina koi fish. That's design. funny, I just videotaped that. You come over here and oh. you actually, your eyes are drawn to the same Yeah, thing. you and I like the same thing. No, like yeah. And I probably showed that last year in a different case, different uh, showcase in this area. This is so sweet. Isn't this most beautiful? It says as is, that's too bad. Oh, he's so cute. That's adorable set. Very nice. Well, look at her. Oh, art glass. Boy, the windows are really... The dress, 85. Yeah, the oh. windows are making too much glare. A lot of reflection from the uh, windows and the fluorescent lights in the ceiling. And that's really cute. This might be... Uh, I don't know if they say who made this. Seven fifty and six for the salt and pepper set. Boy, that's cheap, isn't it? It's cute. This is a gorgeous chip and dip set for sixty. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 
that's a nice one. Ew, Blendo set. Twenty two fifty for I don't know if that's just a picture. But it says as is, I think. What a fun rainbow fish planter. It's old. It's got a little bit of chipping going on in one of the feet fins on the back, not feet, for only seven fifty. <laughs> that's really really reasonable and that cute. They've had quite a few earring holders, um, vintage earring holders here, and I probably bought one or two of them over the years. I probably showed that set last year, that's nice. Wow, these would be really fun for Halloween, wouldn't they? $5.25 for the set? Oh, I like those. Oh, this guy's funny, isn't he? These are cool. That's heavy. See the old rubber stoppers in them? This looks like treasure craft, doesn't it? Could be. I think I'll look them up. Hold on. Nope, they're not. Not treasure craft. They sure are funny. Wow, really cute. That's really cheap. Uh, very fun. I might. We have an ice lip picture that's like this, only the purple squares are a different color. It's green, orange, and yellow, I think, with the white. These are very tall glasses. Wow, this is quite a carved deer scene, complete with mushrooms. <laughs> That's funny. It says vintage. A lot of work went into this. Look at that big guy. Wow. That's a lot of work. Amazing. Very fun. Would be pretty cool on a mantle. At a lake home or a cabin. Very cool. These are egg cups. Wooden egg cups. Aren't they cute? Oh, that's adorable. So fun. I have this doll at home. It says Colgate Palmolive Premium Doll. I thought she was kind of called a little walker doll because she does walk do like downhill. But I have her, but uh, I don't still have that red dress. My mom probably made a little dress for her. But I do have a little yellow dress. Yeah, that's from the early 50s. This is a very sweet horse planter for $9.50. Really pretty. Well, Norm is having her total all my purchases. I think Norm got a couple of things. I have a little lamb like this. There is the balcony up there. So we spend our anniversary antiquing. Um, this is nice too, in blue, but there's no lid. You don't always have to have a lid, but that's a pretty cool one. Um, this is really cute. So instead of going out of town and paying for a hotel room, uh, we just do a day trip and have fun finding some sweet old things here. Wow, look at this. 125. It says vintage umbrella stand. Oh my, with critters. <gasps> Isn't that cute? Wow, that is 
is adorable. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. So sweet. Lots of critters. Now we're trying to figure out if we dare go anywhere else. These are very nice. Wow, $17.50 each. Wow. Turquoise is pretty popular, I think. These are pretty amazing, aren't they? Oh, pretty cool. I have one of these. I see being a, a lucite spoon rest that it got too close to a burner. Wow, $27.50. That's a lot for one. Mine is in minty condition. Well, mine might be a yellow gingham check. I had um, different ones like this. I sold the others. This is beautiful, isn't it? $47.50. What a gorgeous cake stand, huh? Ugh. Just sparkles. Isn't this cool? I've never heard of this name. Columbian Terre Haute, Indiana. It's a, uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Is that, hmm, not sure. Beautiful rainbow spectrum coming through that crystal. Hand blown. Wow. Just gorgeous. Wow. So I hope you had fun. I sure had fun. Norm found some fun things too. Toys. If you're in Hickston, you will enjoy stopping at the next two shops. Uh, Norm decided to just wait for me in this store he didn't come in but I was it's a really fun place and I always find something at a great deal you will see I found some cute things to take home wow look at this nice table it's all covered up isn't that beautiful looks like it's really in good condition it slides out another section this is a very cute display. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, I like that one. Nine dollars. That's a really nice one. Uh, completely different than anything I have. I, I was trying to find something other than red and white. I guess this one with the chicken on it is pretty popular. Rooster. It's like cute, cute, very cute, um, very kitcheny display of lots and lots of old, old things in here and tins and. I do think I want to get this. It's, hmm quite different. Well, I have too many of them that say um, allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, all the spices that go in a pumpkin pie, but I don't have very many like this, so it's in pretty good shape. Did I say nine dollars? That's pretty good. These things are getting expensive. This is another very fun area. Look at these fancy roosters in gold and white. He needs his red repainted. Lots more up here. This whole thing is full of roosters. I have this for holding your scouring pad. I have that. That's a cute little plant planter. That's the lunchbox we used to have many years ago. 
It might have shown up. I'm pretty sure it showed up, showed up in some of our older video clips that were photos, old photos of my original retro collectibles in the kitchen. Wow, oh, I think this is the biggest display of tins I've seen in a while. Wow. Wow. This is an apple string holder in chalkware. Pretty cute, isn't it? Great big leaves on it. <laughs> That's really cute. It's pretty thick. In order to hold a ball of string, of course. That's funny. Here's a lot of cute Easter stuff. 55 for the tin one. That is beautiful. Look at the furry bunnies. But these eggs are just adorable. How much? $15. That's not bad. Oh, those are so cute. Oh, I love those. Oh, there's kind of like my duck head vase, only just in pink and gold and black. I like mine. These guys are pretty cute. Lots and lots of old rabbits in here. Yeah, these are pretty nice um, showcases down here. Wow, all old enamel. Here's some more enamel. Only, wow, $24.50. Oh, and I don't know what this one is. This is a big coffee pot. $58. Wow, I bet they're in good condition. But look at back there, some ice love pictures. I have one too close to this orange and yellow and white one. And I have lots of polka dot ones, and that's really shaped odd. But it looks more like a art class with that applied handle look. Anyways, this is beautiful for $43.50. Really nice condition. I don't know if Ransberg made that or who. It says. It doesn't say. But there is like trash can and canister set. Yeah, it's a fun pattern. Oh, and I had a plate like that. I mean, a tray. I had a really cute tray like that for quite a long time up over the door. Wow, they want a lot for that. Anchor hawking. These are probably very early glasses. They're beautiful. I do have a ice lip picture. Of course, you're paying for the tray. I mean, the holder too, so that makes it more expensive. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's the set. So, yeah, it's, that's worth it. Very, very nice. I had to show you how cute these glasses are. Really darling colors. But look at the holder. $75. I've never seen a holder that looked like that. Wow, what a sweet set, huh? Mm, that's cute. Eight o'clock coffee. <laughs> Fun. Wow, $24.50 for this creamer and sugar. Aren't they sweet? Really cute. Wow. This is really a nice set too, isn't it? 75. Butter dish, salt and pepper set back there. Yeah, I don't remember who made that. I think I'll get this little guy. 
I like the fact that he's green instead of some other crazy color. That's pretty reasonable. $9.95. I like the pig planter. That's really cute. But I have so many. Lots of nice ones here. Isn't that beautiful? Kitty. Oh, there's one of the poodles. I got two of them now. <laughs> That's really cute. I like that. Hmm. This is another very fun shop to look for mid-century items, that, especially that I like. I, I hope you like what you see here. It's well worth stopping in, but I apologize for the loud music. It's pretty wild. Yeah, this is about ballpark for these clocks. I really like them. They are very big, but I do really like them. $79.95. It's running, isn't that nice? And it's not, oh, it does have a cord. Yeah, that's really pretty. Wow, this is surprising. California nice. drip glaze bowl for $5. I got a lot of them though. Okay. This is really a neat Brock's candy jar for 15. Look at the finial on that too, aren't they cool? Yeah, I like those that are shaped like that. They look so much older. These are fun mushroom plaques. Very fun. 45. Wow. They're very cool though. I don't know why my phone is so dark. Crazy. I like this aluminum coffee pot too. Wow, $55. Isn't that neat? It says it works. That's really nice. I have this canister set in uh, olive green background, not, not yellow. Yeah, it's nice too. Isn't this an adorable set? You gotta be careful backing up here. Little bird houses for salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that's so cute. I have this little lamb already. It's a pretty horse. Sorry to be competing with the music here. I know that's not a great idea, but he's a beauty. I show a lot of horses, don't I? But they were very. Oh, isn't that funny? A frog on a toadstool. Oh, jeez. He's really cute. Come on, focus over here. There we go. Oh, that's cute. $7.50. That's funny. <laughs> I just don't know if I like the idea of a... toadstool or not. It's pretty cute, but it's pretty kitschy. Wow, that's a beauty too, but it's $30. See, I don't want to spend $30 on... I've got one in yellow with brown centers, I think, but that is really pretty. And those are cute too. $8 each. And that's a... Uh, really vivid metal canister set. Nice. Quite rich, huh? A lot of cute things in here. Cute Scotty Doug. Planter. He's cute. I can't believe this room. It's like um, Alan our favorite shop that we used to go to down on University Avenue many years ago where we bought most of our retro stuff like all of our napkin holders and everything but look at there's all these 
lucite lights in here. Look at that ice bucket. Isn't that cute with the butterflies on it? Look at those metal decorative guitar plaques. There's a strobe light here, old pillow. Uh, corduroy, that's really cute. Two of them. Hmm. And the afghans and purses and old clothes. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at the shadow box. Hi. And this cool light. A donkey. Donkey and a deer. Or two donkeys. I don't know, but they are cute. So much cool stuff back in here. This really brings back memories of going into Alan's place. That's a pretty plain recipe box. That looks like a unique canister set. See this lucite? Isn't that cute? It's not my colors, but I love it. Isn't that adorable? I'm gonna put this up with your stuff. Okay, okay. See yeah. this lucite trivet? Isn't that pretty? Not my colors either, but it's very pretty. It is uh, 14 blue and green. Very nice. Never seen that one before. There's just so much fun stuff here. Kooky old pictures and lots of thermoses, glassware, plaques. Look at that. Hook rug. Starburst goblets. Oh, I like those. Mm, I have the, I have the, uh, the server, the great big server that goes with it. Oh, here's the tag. So it'd be four of them. Four set of four for only seven. I gotta get those because I have the server. Oh, that's just, oh, no mind. Well, that'll be hard to carry, but look at another owl lamp. I've got two of them in our back bedroom, so I sure don't need one of those. Oh, no way, no way. Oh my goodness, another one is this. Not in real great condition, but see, it's kind of split right. I think it's a little split right there where the wing is, but this is one of the kooky ones. Oh, darling. You could display it from the other side. $25. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. That's really neat. See, isn't that darling? Oh my, this is just like years ago. When we used to go in this place called um, Swank, Swank, Swank Interiors, that's what it was called. Oh, he had everything, everything. Look at this rack that would hold magazines on the side, I assume. Another ice bucket down there. Look at the... This is an unusual magazine rack. Round. Fun luggage, I bet. That's what my sister wants, is some vintage TV trays. More ice bucket. and I love this pillow. I just love that pillow, except I'm not real big on the purple on it, but oh, that's so cute. It looks like an Easter egg. <laughs> Oh, a sweet uh, chair. You hang your jacket on the back of it. And look at the size of this macrame. And all these pictures. Oh, this is such a fun retro room. Look at the, um, well, there's a nice lamp. Blendo. Look at the owl picture painting. The bamboo. I have that plaque. Look at that macrame light. Can you believe that? Burn incense, not buildings. Wow. I love that thing. That is just plastic. I think it is molded plastic. I've seen it 
in a smaller version. It's just super mod, but it's a really big picture. So retro. Unbelievable. Let's see what else was. Anyways, that macrame, I did show you that. There's Elvis. Yeah, this is a really fun room. Oh, there's our footstool only in um, beige. And a nice cake taker. Some drip glaze. Salad and bowl set, maybe. Oh, look at those dishes. Wow. I don't recognize them. Mail class with red stripes. Oh, mail class. Wow, pretty reasonable. Ice bucket. Fun cheese ball server. Yeah, this is all the kind of stuff that Alan had. It was so fun. I've got one like that, or I had one. I don't know if I still have it or not, but I love this set. 25 for six of those. I have them in red and white, and I have a few in navy blue, but don't really need those. These are really funny. <laughs> Somebody knitted those and I got that. And I've got that um, isolate picture in the back. Or we do, I should say. Yeah, what a fun room. Lots of t-shirts. Yeah, that was a blast from the past. I love all these lights. I didn't really show you those very well. That gold one is beautiful.